N8N is an open source workflow automation tool that lets you connect apps, APIs, and custom logic into repeatable pipelines. Think of it as a programmable glue between services like Zapier, but with developer level control and the freedom to self host. In N8N, you build workflows out of nodes, and a node is just one step. A trigger like a new email, an action like downloading an attachment, or a transform such as parsing an invoice. Wire nodes together visually, and you've created an automated process that runs whenever the trigger fires. These nodes handle the heavy lifting for common services like Gmail, Slack, Shopify, and AWS, but you can also call any HTTP API or run custom JavaScript when you need special parsing or logic. What sets N8N apart is flexibility. It supports conditionals, loops, and code nodes, so you can cover weird edge cases without forcing you into a one-size-fits-all product. Because it's open source, you can self-host for data privacy and avoid vendor lock-in, or use their cloud offering if you prefer convenience. There's a growing ecosystem of community nodes and templates, so you rarely start from scratch. And to showcase how easy it is to implement, let's try a little project. I want to create a daily automated process that pulls tech news from specific websites, summarizes them, and sends them in my Discord server along with the link to the full articles. First, we create a schedule trigger, then add an edit field node with our list of news sources in an array. Next, we use a split out node to extract each source individually, leaving us with multiple items as output. This output goes into an RSS read node, which pulls all the new articles from our sources. Since there are too many, we randomize with a sort node and then grab the first 15 using a limit node. Now the fun begins, we connect a basic LLM chain with a prompt to summarize the contents and link to the real article. For this, we grab a free API key from Google AI Studio to use the Gemini chat model. Finally, we connect the Discord node, drop in a webhook from our server, and just like that, we've got a daily tech news Discord bot in under 10 minutes. Here is how it looks inside the Discord server. This has been Spring Boot in almost two minutes. Thank you for sitting through yet another tech rant, and if you enjoyed it, leave a like and subscribe to become a fellow codehead.